soft drink in the cups of tea, but why wouldn't you celebrate him? Well, he's going to shake it up and he's going to celebrate the way that every Victoria's team does. And, well, who would have thought this three days ago they were down and out? They lost the first test in less than three days. They watched Australia pile on 445, get bowled out and trailed by 274, forced to follow on, and they are scenes of celebration in a room where the champagne was on ice in the other room for two days, and then it went to the Indian change rooms. Only the third time in 1,535 test matches to win after being forced to follow on, and they won with just six and a half overs remaining. So some fantastic scenes in the Indian dressing room. The Indians thrilled to bits after this win. Australia bowled out for 212 in their second innings. Hayden once again the top scorer, 67. Slater made 43. But the problem for Australia started in the middle of the order. Steve Waugh went for 24, then Ricky pointing out for no score. Adam Gilchrist getting a king pair. Shane Warne getting a pair too, and Tendulkar in the middle there chipping in with three wickets and 13 in the match for Harbhajan Singh. He was the main strike bowler for India again, Harbhajan Singh, 30.3 over, 6 for 73. He bowled beautifully today, got the ball to turn and bounce sharply, and uh, it means he's got 13 wickets in the match, and Tendulkar chipped in after three. Three important wickets for 31 runs. So a fantastic performance by the Indian team. The crowd that turned up here today have watched one of the greatest test matches ever played in the history of the game. Five days of fascinating cricket, a superb comeback by India to draw level in this Pepsi Test Series. So tremendous test match all in all. We hope you've enjoyed the entertainment over the last five days. Until Chennai, from all of us here at the Eden Gardens, it's a very good night.